Welcome and thank you once again into this channel. Right here we are with Chima Naji. Dr. Chima Naji, a Nigerian lawyer, is right here with us. Dr. Welcome. All right, my wonderful people, uh, Naji have said something that is most interesting. He says there is no candidate that has been scrutinized like Peter Obi, yet he comes out clean. Dr. Chima Naji, a Nigerian lawyer, claimed in an interview with Arise News that he was unaware of Peter Obi's accomplishment before he ran for President of the United States of America. According to Naji, only Peter Obi has undergone thorough scrutiny without any concerns being raised about him. He continued by saying that no other contender had undergone the same kind of scrutiny, yet he had come out on top. He acknowledged that it was only after Peter Obi had undergone thorough public scrutiny that he learned more about him. Meanwhile, Peter Obi was undoubtedly one of the outliers in his ways. Okay, he says things everyone knows now due to the fact that he was not well known while he was governor of Anambra State. I was unaware of most of this, but it is clear now how closely everyone has been watching him the level of interest in peter obi is uh, unparalleled it is uh, analog just to doctors performing uh, racial exams and finding nothing since the patient has been able to clear his system all right as a result of this i am unaware of any other presidential candidate as long as peter b is concerned who have undergone the same kind of a scrutiny just uh, as uh, gregory peter obi whether in the government the senate the, the state or any of the national assemblies uh, chambers and they haven't received anything but growing reviews my wonderful people that has been on to this as the chima naji have really shouted and said wow my very first time of seeing someone who says go and verify and the people have really scrutinized both publicly and privately scrutinized peter will be yet yet very very uh, very very clear that he stands to be upright yet he becomes out clear and clean okay my wonderful people well, let me have a take on this matter i mean why Report has revealed that uh, Gregory Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, would be granting an interview at uh, Chatham House ahead of the 2023 general election. The update was uh, shared on the Twitter page of uh, Chatham House Africa. And this has stirred dozens of mixed reactions on social media. On this basis, the announcement of Peter Obi's interview at Kacham House came days after an editor at Kacham House, The World Today magazine, Rosan Ascobels, revealed in a twist that she's yet to hear from Peter Obi after inviting him for an interview at uh, Kasham House. She also said that they are still interested in speaking with him. According to the update shared by the Shaham House, Peter Obi, former governor of Anambra State, would be at uh, Kasham House on the 16th of January uh, 2023, where he will speak on this, uh, on his uh, candidacy and the upcoming election, and where he is also expected to answer some serious and rigorous questions on that uh, regard. My wonderful people, Nigerians, meanwhile, have uh, reacted differently to this uh, development in the comments section after he was uh, shared, after it was shared on their uh, Twitter page. As you can see, so many reactions. The second of our event uh, examined uh, 
Nigeria's 2023 election and political development will take place on the 16th of January 2023. Nigeria's uh, election uh, in a conversation with Peter Obi. Okay, that is coming shortly from Chaham House, Africa. You are welcome. Chaham House is going to feel the difference. All the foreign policies of UK is how to keep Nigeria backward and continue to make uh, to milk uh, her resources. Chaham House has no business interviewing presidential candidate of Nigeria. Okay, that is my take. As long as this news is concerned, it is a good step in the right direction. As people have really commented innocently, that is a good step in the right direction. Okay. Uh, uh, this is coming from uh, Africa Brogue. Thank you very much. Peter is the is the good article, the bad, the noble, the ugly. I day on the road to Shaham House. Okay, that will, will be it. Will be very very interesting on that very day, come 16th of January 2023. I hope they are want to be a double standard with Peter Obi because uh, your institution dropped the bar to low because of a Tinubu. Okay, the same standard should apply to Peter Obi. My wonderful people, so uh, visual people are interested in Chaham House. Okay, oh, this one a hypocrite. Tinubu remains uh, the peace uh, settler and based to the job. Okay, thank you very much. Remember that the real one, everyone is up to say or uh, whatever he or she wants to say. You are up to your opinion. Why would Africa travel to London to have an interview with white people whenever they are? job uh, just letting to occupy the country's seat of power how many of these white people have ever traveled to nigeria to be interviewed by our local media houses that is my question i tire i'm so tired of this okay chaham a house has no business with nigeria election it is obvious that peter will be wasn't interested in granting this so-called uh, diaspora interview cause uh, he has uh, been doing that but no but to put uh, the haters and uh, uh, and the miseries in their proper basket as he had decided to go there because he has no more okay he has more enough to give them without much okay my wonderful people it has been that uh, to come and feel the thing is that uh uh, uh Tinubu has don't uh, watch the interview okay Tinubu, please don't watch the interview chaham is going to hold with peter obi because you die of heart okay okay uh, the truth has been he's trying to say that Tinubu should not watch the interview because he will face a lot of uh, heart uh, uh, challenges are fat uh, broke okay all the political parties and the presidential candidate also occupy what uh, ever but does can't you people think in your own and do something different what a, a what a copy cut and how are they going to rule with the level of uh, plagiarism okay my wonderful people let me have your take on this matter because the matter where we talk will so be say peter b hmm, they go grant an interview right at a house house so obi is go go to okay she be obi then the people say then they okay with within he don't tell them here why he won't go there Tinubu, don't go okay wonderful people it has been so deliberating between so many other you so many other comments uh, people are really commenting innocently the truth is that nigeria is desperately in need of a man who will connect the master the slave relationship between nigeria and uk nigerian politicians have absolutely no need to traveling to the uk to answer any question about nigeria is nigeria an uh, appendage of the uk peter will be should ignore any intervention to travel to chaham uh, house a uh, nigerian leadership must uh, exercise every freedom to reinforce the positive instruction or instrument of nigerians uh, independency of course thank you very much mr joseph okike for your comment that has been the truth too and i would advise that uh, peter obi should ignore it because uh, it is a meaningless as long as this news is concerned would they be in nigeria 
Would they be in Nigeria to cast their vote? They will not. What is UK still looking for in Nigeria? They have done enough to us. And that has been unto this one, not only to Nigeria, but to Africa. Africa remains second class human being to your next generation. Come so done so very say. okay that has been on to this mr alex okafo thank you for your take remember to subscribe and do all follow us coming more and more updates is coming right from this channel thank you and remember to send your take looking forward to hearing from you right at the comment section thank you and god bless